welcome back to Angling360 YouTube channel and today we are on the Lake of Menteith otherwise known as the Lake of Dreams this is a venue I've been dying to fish the dead baits for a number of years um, for many reasons you've just never got around to join it pass Pike Anglers Alliance for Scotland where you get privileged access to to do so so here we are today conditions I'm told are near enough perfect generally when I'm fishing it means hee-haw at the moment my luck's not really been on my side so I'm hoping today that that may change so Alex is with us today we've got four rods out as I say a couple with sardines, a couple with mackerel and we'll be lobbing a few lures about just to fend off the boredom if it's not if we're not catching plenty of fish which I'm sure we will I'm sure we will so stay tuned and hopefully we can come back to you with what I'm hoping for is a big bloody 30 <laughs> But Alex is happy with a mid double. If I beat my PB, happy days. But just want to get one fish. Just one fish, so it's not a blank. Decent fish. Remember the roll crew? Watch a big crew. Blanks off. <laughs> Not quite desired species, but it's a start. Went off like a rocket. The Lake of Minty's monster. You need the net for that one? I might be alright, I think. Anchor rope, first fish, of course. I get in the anchor rope. <laughs> I just kind of seem to catch a big minty spike, but there we go, there's the first one. So, Alex has had a nice trout. Had a first peak. Alex sent me a fish now. I love you, Jack. Oh, 
Vai, vai. bigger for me. But at least it's the right species this time. It's been a mad wee half hour. What's that? It's been a mad wee half hour. It is, yeah, it's good. Our fish getting caught over there. Five minutes of madness here. I'd one falling right up to the boat in the lure. I dropped one in my other float, and this one's went left like two minutes later. <laughs> Feels like a better fish. Watch the anchor rope. <laughs> ah, <shush. laughs> Alright, that's a nice one. One there, yeah. yeah. Can you manage? This felt tiny when I hooked it, but it's not too shabby at all. It's a nice fish. Can you get this yourself or do you want me to get it? Def definitely a double. <laughs> well, after cutting the hooks, it managed to free this beauty. My biggest mint teeth fish, 13 pounds. Absolutely stunning. Short and fat, a bit like myself. They told it the other way. Chunky fish, eh? Yeah. Right, she's been through enough. Let's get her rested in the rain back. Fishing three hours now. It's a bit wet, but it's been quite it's been quite active for the first hour or so. It's quite quiet. The last hour has been pretty hectic. We've had three fish to the boat, three drop runs or three missed runs, uh, and a bonus trout. So it's been it's been quite busy. It's been quite active. Nothing huge. Nothing anywhere near the size of what this water is capable of producing. There's some absolute monster fish. That have come from here and hopefully are still still kicking about. The lake community is it's boat only. It's usually fly only and it's usually trout only. So this is a privileged access event. 
I think it only happens twice a year, I could be wrong, but twice a year, two weekends a year, where you can get on here and you can dead bait for pike. So it's it's great, it's great to be here. Boat fishing for pike is something, or fishing from a boat for pike is something that we've just never really dabbled in at all. And it's a steep learning curve, we're we're, we're learning the ropes as we go and we're, we're, we're winging it to an extent. We don't have the gear, the actual gear, so we're fishing with 12 foot rods, which are maybe a bit long for for fishing this sort of style. And fishing with floats is something that I don't really do much. That fish that I caught earlier on, the rope was really small, was the first fish that I've ever caught, first pike that I've ever caught using using float tactics. Even just anchoring the boat in the right position has been it's been a bit of a well we, we managed it, we managed it quite quite quickly actually. Well, it's no moving. It's no moving as the thing. The wind is supposed to swing round a wee bit later on, so we, we might need to reposition the boat. It, it should it should be okay, but yeah. Once it dries up a bit, we'll get the rigs in, have a look, have a look at the baits, and have a look at how we set the boat up. But until then, fingers crossed for that <laughs> Lake of Dreams monster. A Leviathan. Leviathan. Leviathan, <laughs> I still can't see it. <laughs> Let's drop that again. No, it's still there. Still there. That's it. I like it when I hear that noise. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know, it's not bad. You like the net? Stunning looking fish, I mean, look at the condition of the fins on that fish. Plenty time. So as much as I love fishing, it can be bloody frustrating sometimes. Three real positive runs in every one I've missed. Peel in line, peel in line, reel down, lift, dead weight, nothing. Three times in a row. You start to question, what is it that I'm doing wrong? It's all about technique, mate. It must be, yeah, there's, there's something not quite right. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it was either trout or very small pike and that the next one is going to be the leviathan that we're after and it will stick but no in your luck it will be <laughs> but no having a bit of a disaster at the minute so I think a sandwich and a rethink it's a great shout and we'll be back the big G story <laughs> get ready, enough Tell me you got that one. It's on at the minute, but we'll see how long it stays on for. See if this one can stick. Feels. And I'm going to try and stand up with it tipping his ear.
tail than your last one. <laughs> that wouldn't be hard. Oh, oh! Ah. You bastard. What's the chances? We should hook that one. Let's <laughs> see it. On. Get it. Oh dear. Think a moment on his own is required. Jack, go. Not too bad. We should hook this one. Shh. Right, get that in the air before it comes off. It's about time one stuck. <laughs> May not be the biggest, but I'm happy with that. Is that the man you just cast his back at? <laughs> uh, no, that's been out for a while. Just watch out the rebels. Yep. Then light the hook. But at least it's hooked. <laughs> Aye. Well, they're stuck in there. They're stuck in. <laughs> Careful, there's trebles there. Mint condition, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, that feels heavy. Oh, let go of it. That felt heavy. Right, well, my turn to lose fish. That fish felt heavy, but before I put my fresh bait on, just a quick rundown of how we float fish from a boat. Most importantly, stop nut, wee bit of gum, power gum's it called. Right, that's set for about 16 foot, there or thereabouts. We're fishing in about 15 foot of water. Would that be right, Alex? Yeah, about that, yep. And that bead basically 
slides up to the stop knot as the bait sinks that slides up there and then lies flat so we're fishing over depth the idea is, is when the fish pulls at the, the line as it takes the bait it hits the stop knot which is up there and then your float starts to move we buffer bead half ounce lead buffer bead over a snap swivel on the snap swivel onto a nice voodoo trace size 6 trebles barely size 6's right along the mackerel for those that don't know that's a mackerel tail and there we go voila right let's get it out It must be trout. It must be trout. Mun munching at the bait. <sighs> the look of a frustrated angler. Don't want to talk about it. Okay. I'm almost scared to ask. So despite losing half of the fish, or missing half of the runs, we are getting fish. No monsters, but fish is fish. Standing condition them all, but aren't they? Yeah, thin, perfect. They don't get caught often, obviously. Check this rainbow out. Better. I'll cut half again. Oh, yeah. I think you actually into double figures now of fish you've lost. Look, just to show you, just to prove, <laughs> these are actual hooks. They're not rubber. Hooks. Many's that now? Ah, oh, shush. <laughs> uh, at least it's been good days fishing. Be a run then. <sighs> I'll try to spell you soon. <laughs> We're just about to sit down and have a little chat to camera. And the bike have other ideas. Oh, I moved a bit of water there. <laughs> Maybe a better one. Could you pass me that net?
think this is a proper one, just watch that anchor rope. I think this is a better fish. So I think I'm going to net this, I'm going to put this down and we'll get this in the net. Hopefully have a look at it. What a run that was. We were literally just talking to camera about how quiet it's been in the last half hour. Because we've literally had the runs every hour of the day. I think we've had about 20 Deep. odd runs, <laughs> yeah. easily. Um, unfortunately they've all been kind of lower double, uh, uh, jacks, sorry. I'm not excited because there's a big one <laughs> in the net. <laughs> um, but whilst we were talking, my rod screamed off. What a fight! It felt, I don't know, I'm going to say maybe just shy of 20. But let's get him in. Hop in, hop in. Yeah. That's a proper one. So I'm going to guess 18. It's not just going to make it turn. Nah. Wow, okay. Two of them are sort of Chunky, deep. solid, solid, solid fish. Two of mackerel, too. Oh, my God. Right, rest it in the net, we'll get the skills in. We'll, we'll have a look. <laughs> There's a bend in that rod. You've done it again. <laughs> A wee fat, a wee fatty. That a junk in it. Give him a force it. Hand line in. Don't let it go. You could get in the net. Ah. Fucking have I took my finger off. You still got it? No. No way. I think it was somebody's fly line that looked as if it's a fly that's with. Well, we're into the, the last hour of the allocated fishing time. The boats need to be in by, by half four. So, last knockings it is for me. I've struggled a little bit today. Plenty of action plenty of runs and I've had a few fish. Not the biggest of fish but 
it's, it's fish and I'm, I'm happy with that. Gordon, however, on the other hand, <laughs> uh, he's, had the, he's had the luck today. He, he'll put it down to skill, no doubt, but well, we'll give him that there. Uh, two, nice, two nice fish, one round about the sort of low... What was my hookup rate? <laughs> your hookup rate was far, <laughs> far better than mine. Uh, yeah, what was your first one? Low double and then... Low double and then what? 18? Yeah, 17. Mid, mid to high to high doubles. Uh, it felt like a 30 when I was fighting it. <laughs> <laughs> it did give a good account of itself, but they're, they're, they're stunning, stunning fish, these minted fish. I mean, they don't get fished for much at all. I mean, you can fly fish for them uh, on, a, on a regular basis in here, but to, to properly get on the water and, and to get dead baits in the water, it's, it's, it's been a privilege, as it's been really, really, really good. Like I said, so much so we're going to sign up for next year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll, we'll be back. We'll definitely be back. Uh, I think in, in total we've had about nine nine fish to the boat. We've had about twenty runs. I've missed about nineteen of them. <laughs> uh, but you you think uh, that it might be it might trout? Be trout. Uh, the, the way the float bobs along and the way you're hooking into it and then it's, they let go, it's almost. I, I hope it is. I hope it is. I think it is. The true. amount of runs that I've missed, uh, it would be embarrassing if they were actually pike. Uh, but yeah, bit of a nightmare on that front. But we we can't complain with with the action, the non-stop action that we've had. And yeah, like I said, there's still an hour to go. So are we classing my fish as a leviathan? No, a no, a lion, a lion, a lion, a lion. <laughs> a leviathan, a leviathan. No, it's not. Uh, it's getting there. It's the biggest we've had so far this season, but it's not quite to the size that we're, we're hoping for. The end game is one close to twice that size. Well, this is four trips. I think it's four trips more than we did last year. Yeah. yeah. For I, the pike, we didn't have hardly any pike fishing, but it's been pretty awesome today. It's been, it's been good fun. It's been, it's been frustrating. I've I've lost the plot a couple of times, but and that rarely happens. <laughs> Aye, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you should wrap up there. <laughs> I've had them in that video, but look at the sun. The silhouette when the camera's on me is pretty bad. You've maybe seen that with the the, the, the fish and me playing that fish. I'm also excited. I can't even get my words out. <laughs> but it's been an absolute magic day. Absolute magic. So, hi, as Alex says, we'll see you next time for another episode of ASOC Diaries. <laughs> see you later.